Well, Telcom's former chairman, Jeff Molobella, withdrew his bid to be re-elected as the director of the company's board, accusing the company's board of violating due process. The move comes after Telcom's board took the unusual step of recommending to shareholders that they not re-elect Molobella. CEO Sipo Maseko also gave some insight on the turnaround strategy of the telecoms giant. I think Telcom's challenges are are complex, I think. I think it is something that we'll need to keep at. I, I, I don't think they don't want us to put a time dimension to it. Um, you know, the response will be seen in two ways. Firstly, customers will tell us, you know, and one of the things that we'll be measuring quite aggressively now is just what do customers think of us? And, um, and we want customers to give us constant feedback, you know, and how how long is that journey? You know, how long is that journey? You know, it's, it's as long as you want to be part of it. The second one is just what do shareholders think of us? Um, I think that's going to be very, very important. So, so I wouldn't want to put a time dimension to it, Google. I just think it's something that we need to start with as soon as possible and get on with it, you know. But in the end, the way in which at least I would like to measure it is that how we do this year must be better than how we did last year so that you can constantly demonstrate improvement um, uh, across all of the parameters that you are measuring in a business. I think there's, there's two components to it, uh, Hilton. I think there's the one big bucket, probably about 60, 70% of the plan. It's really around an employee share scheme. All right? um, and it will be across, th there'll be a number of things. Firstly, the time that it will take before those shares vest. So that's gonna be one thing. The second thing will be what are the performance measures that need to be hit for those for that for those for that share scheme for the shares to vest, um, and secondly, so at a corporate level, and thirdly, what sort of performance objectives the individuals need to hit in order to be able to access um, the incentive. So the person, the firm, and also the time, uh, and I think it must be long enough uh, to to encourage and commit people to stay and have a, their skin in the game. Um, um, and also people must see that at the end of the tunnel there's an opportunity and you know, if, and it's a use, it, it's, if, you, if we don't hit them, we lose them, so they'll go back. So that's why the issued share capital that the <coughs> shareholders have generously made available doesn't mean that it's gone. So if we fail, it means that the shareholders get back the value actually. I think that telecom has been has been um, trampled over. I think for for quite a while. Um, I mean, the LLU story. I think it's a it's a half told story. The, the, my view is that actually, as a as a principle, we should encourage investment, all right, and we should encourage investment by people, especially in the local loop. You know, telecom has invested. Um, and, and I think that it is probably a bit unfair that no one wants to invest in the industry and telecom is always looked upon either to subsidize or to allow those that want to have the least investment into the market. So, so, so the local loop just kind of did not descend from somewhere. It was a big investment program um, and we continue to invest in maintaining it and supporting it. So, 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 so my view actually is that the entire network from the core to the access to the local loop, all of that rep represents an investment. And, and sometimes I think it's a bit, it's a bit disingenuous for, for others to agitate. Uh, well, actually, that is the juiciest part that I want to get into. Actually, I don't want to put in my money and invest in it. I want to ride on telecoms network um, and force telecom to, 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 to to, it's like it's like Coca Cola or, or the beer chaps, who you know they buy a fridge, and they put it in a shebeen, and then, you know, I want to sell my own beer, but I don't want to invest in the fridge, so I want to force Coca Cola or SAB to give me access to their fridge, um, so that I can comp So so for me it's the same analogy. So so we're not being aggressive. I think we're just being, we're just being. We're confidently asserting our, our rights, you know, and and, and um, you know we have shareholders, and we don't believe that our shareholders must be prejudiced 
uh, unfairly uh, by other shareholders, as it were. So we, we will do the best that we need to do for our shareholders, because our shareholders expect us to represent the company the best that we can, to look after the investment that they have been able, they've made over time, uh, and also give them a return of that investment.